Hey folks, Chris Waters here to welcome you to another episode of The Gun Show, Weapon of the Week. It's Splinter Cell Blacklist time, and if ever there was a video game character who could be described as a weapon unto his, her, or itself, it's Sam Fisher. What with the grappling, and the punching, and the kicking, and the inverse double neck twisty, all that cool stuff he does, it doesn't look anything like what I was just doing. But even the baddest dude needs a government-engineered trick up his sleeve every once in a while, as you'll see in this episode of The Gun Show, Weapon of the Week. Now, Sam is a tough dude and seems to be recovering from his voice actor ectomy pretty well, but this is a new battlefield in Blacklist, and he can only rely so much on his old habits. The anglerfish approach of just waiting for enemies to bring their necks within snapping range is good from time to time, but more often you'll need to reach out and touch somebody. Fortunately, within the first few missions, you'll be able to purchase the crossbow. Now, historically, the crossbow served as a quick and dirty way to make Steve Swordsman deadly at range, but in Blacklist, you can't actually kill anybody with it. This might seem a bit awkward, given how delighted we are here with bringing digital death to our virtual victims, but trust us, this thing is cool. First off, you got the zaps. Who doesn't like giving dudes the zaps? They're all shaking and shimmying and seizing up and catching glimpses of the eternal and emptying their bowels into their unsuspecting pants. And then there's the gassing, which is actually really thoughtful of you. All these. Nighttime patrols are really messing with those guards' circadian rhythms. You're just trying to get them back on a nice sleep cycle. Gotta get your eight hours. Speaking of bad habits, there's just too much radio chatter and other technology getting between these terrorists and really experiencing life. Which is why you're gonna fry all their gizmos with an EMP chaff combo bolt. And when all else fails, make like the three amigos and try to draw their attention with a noisemaker. Hey! Hey you! You two! You two! Look up here! Look! Look up here! So none of this stuff is lethal. So what? Enemies that are shocked, gassed, EMP'd, or distracted are a lot easier to kill, and here's where you can get creative. Just let your sadistic little imagination run wild. Call you before a court of martial law, you don't mention Crossbow by name. You keep Crossbow out of this, you hear? Crossbow cannot be held responsible. Crossbow is not going back to prison. You know what? Just blame it on Sticky Cam. That old workhorse can pretty much do all that Crossbow stuff. The only difference is that you need to throw it yourself. Did you know Sam Fisher was a AAA shortstop with Major League Prospects? Well, he wasn't, but he still got a pretty good arm. And if his rotator cuff is acting up after a particularly vigorous session of hanging from stuff, send in the flying drone to get all up in people's faces and tase them and then maybe blow them up and stuff, you crazy old panther, you. Ah, oh, Fisher. I forget who you're talking to. But for the ultimate in comfort for the aging super operative who cares more about giving his joints a rest than letting some enemy combatants live to see another day, it's gotta be the SR-25 sniper rifle. The suppressor lets you silently sit down any number of normals, but the heavy enemies are a different story. You could jungle gym your way into a position to leap onto these heavies like some wild gorilla, but why not just invest in some armor-piercing ammo and let it do the work for you? Looks like outsourcing is killing more than just America's economy, eh? Eh, <laughs> hey, Sam? Outsourcing? <laughs> get, get it? Forget who you're talking to. 
I don't think he gets it. Hopefully these tips will get you started down the path of unraveling or thwarting whatever terrible thing is going down in Splinter Cell Blacklist. We've been keeping up with new releases here at the Gun Show, but we've got some retro delights in store for you soon. So keep those suggestions coming to me over Twitter at CT Waters and sound off in the comments below over what you're spending your hard earned Splinter Cell bucks on in the duty free shopping aboard the Paladin. Shop smart and thanks for watching the Gun Show Weapon of the Week.